Hey, what is up squad, Turk here and welcome to this beginner guide to Pokemon Unite. Before we get started, I just want you guys to know that you can watch me play Pokemon Unite and even play with me every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11.30 EM Eastern Time on twitch.tv slash Turk. Now that this shameless plug is done, let's just jump into the content. Before we get to the tips, I want to talk about roles and terminology for those who are less familiar with MOBAs or even not at all. If that's not your case in just one quick tips for Pokemon Unite, jump to the tips part using the timestamp down below. Pokemon Unite have a roster of Pokemon available divided in different categories, but what are they in MOBA terms? Unite roles are Supporter, Allrounder, Attacker, Defender and Speedster. Attackers are range DPS that some will refer as ADCs. Speedsters are melee DPS that will most likely roam the map a lot. All renders are brooders with high defense and high damage. Supporters, well, do I have to explain this one? They support the DPS and the rest of the team. Defenders are what we know as tanks. They take most of the damage to protect the rest of the team. A good way to set up your team is having an all rounder with a supporter in the bottom path, a tank with an attacker top and a speedster that takes a jungle. The jungler role is not known to everyone and honestly it should. It's an important role in MOBAs. He's the one that stays in the middle of the map, defeat camps and rope the map to pressure the lanes. Not only the speedsters can do it though, some allrounders and even defenders can do it. Actually, any Pokemon that can do it if you can clear fast enough. Expect to be able to gank a lane under one minute and you'll be fine. Is there a bunch of words you didn't understand? That's why I want to talk about terminology. Face check. Entering a tall grass without paying attention. You may walk into a group of enemy by doing that, so make sure you are prepared when entering a patch of grass, and I recommend just shooting and attacking there just to be safe. Ganks. Performing a surprise attack in a lane. Having a jungler or a roaming teammate attack the enemies in your lane to help you push the objective. Rotate. It's self-explanatory. It's the action of rotating around the map to cover for an ally or pressure another part of the map. Make sure you look at the enemy position on your map before doing so to avoid getting in trouble. Farming. Gathering experience points from wild Pokemons or enemies. Sometimes, it's best to leave the enemy be and focus on wild spawns if they're easier to kill, therefore, it's easier to get XP. Aggro. This one is important. It's the aggression level of a neutral Pokemon, either the Wild Spawn, Rotom, Dranma, or Zapdos. If you're an attacker, you want to avoid getting hit. Let the defender take care of it. If you notice you're taking a lot of the damage, simply walk out of the Pokemon's range and let the defender tank it. Poke. Poking or arresting is done by using range attack to safely attack the enemy to force them to back for health. That can be used to negate their farming, as they might move back from wild pokemons and let you clear them. AoE or RF effect. This one I believe is known by everyone, but it's simply an attack that deals damage inside of an area or hit multiple targets at once. Backdoor. Backdooring means that you sneak around the jungle to go deposit points or simply do a quick push in one lane while the other half of your team is holding the enemy. Do not backdoor if you feel like your team is in a disadvantage because that won't help. Buff and debuff. Effect that affect your stats for a short period of time or permanently. A boost in stats will be called a buff, while a debuff will be an effect that reduces your stats. Crowd control. CCs are abilities that can stun, slow, root, or disable the enemy. It's those moves that everyone hates being hit by, but you will love to use. Roam. A roamer is a player that rocks around their map to gank other lanes and help pressure the enemy. Most of the time you will see a speedster do that or the jungler. Now that the roles and the terminology are explained, let's jump into the tips. I have 7 tips for you guys and I really hope they're gonna help you. Map awareness. Seriously guys, I cannot stress this one enough. This is key to victory. You need to look at your map as often as possible to know what is happening around the map. That could save your life or give you an opportunity to either save someone else or be able to backdoor to score some points. Use the grass. By taking advantage of the patch of grass around you, you can hide in the grass for a gank or let your team bait the enemy towards you. Enemies will also lose track of you while you are in it and it can change the course of the fight. Team fight. 
there's a thousand ways to say this, play your role. If you're a supporter or defender, make sure your people stay alive, so they can take out the enemy and score points. It might be tempting to jump on a low level enemy to finish it, but saving an ally should come first as it might end up in a double kill for the enemy and put you at a disadvantage. Don't hold on points. Make sure you don't walk around with like 40 or 50 EOS points on you, but don't risk it either. If you see that it's too dangerous to go deposit your points, wait for your team to catch up or request assistance by using Quick Chat. Use Quick Chat. I know Quick Chat isn't the best in the game like communication, but that's what we have and you have to take the time to get used to it and master it because it is key to victory. It will make your experience much better and I guarantee your win ratio will go up if you use it properly. Fall back. Kills don't matter that much in this game other than steal points so don't risk it. We can simply poke or harass the opponent to reduce his HP a bit and go back to farming wild pokemons for XP and EOS points. Play smart to win more. And change your settings. I will make another video on this to show you guys what I use, but take the time to go look through all the settings available because it might make your life easier. I really hope all of this really helped you guys. I will make more Pokemon Unite video in the future, so make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in another video. Have an amazing time in Pokemon Unite, and I will catch you guys later. Take care, squad.